Okay, so for our last example of this section, we'll find the Laplace transform of this piecewise defined function using the definition of the Laplace transform. Later on in upcoming sections, we'll find an easier way to do this, but this is the way that we want to first apply the definition. So we'll first write it with our integral definition. And that's going to be the integral. of our f of t with e to the negative st dt. And you'll notice that since our piecewise definition changes, so does our integral change. It's going to be the integral from 0 to 2 of 3 e to the negative st dt plus the integral from 2 to infinity of the e to the t e to the negative st dt. So we just break up the integral over the definition for the function as it changes across its interval. The next thing we'll do then is now find these integrals. So we're gonna have negative three over s, e to the negative st. This time though, from zero to two plus, and when we do our integral over here, we kind of skip the step, but that's gonna be one over Technical difficulties here. I don't want to erase. I want to write 1 over. And again, this is going to be a 1 minus s times t when we combine them. So that's 1 over 1 minus s e to the 1 minus s times t. And that's now from 2 to infinity. So that's going to be negative 3 over s e to the negative 2s minus negative 3 over s e to the negative s times 0. And then back here, it's going to be the limit as t goes to infinity of 1 over 1 minus s e to the 1 minus s times t. And then minus 1 over 1 minus s e to the 1 minus s times 0. Okay, so what's left then is going to be a negative 3 over s e to the negative 2s plus a 3 over s. And then back here, this limit as normal is going to go to 0, provided that s is greater than 1. So that's going to be plus 1 over s minus 1, and that's e to the 0, which is 1. So we're going to have a Laplace transform that is equal to negative 3 over s, e to the negative 2s, plus 3 over s, plus 1 over s minus 1. And I think I forgot. Oops, I made a mistake. Because that last one is not at 0, it is at 2. So let me fix that silly mistake. This is actually not 0, but a 2 right there. So there is actually an e to the 2 times 1 minus s up there in the exponent. You have to be very careful with these problems because, again, these boundaries change. It does start at 0 over here, but this new integral is from 2 to infinity. So that is the infinite problem minus the 2 problem, not the 0 problem. So hopefully everybody's cool with that. Again, no mistake in there, but I fixed a mistake inside the video.